Hi, I'm Betty. And I'm DJ. And today we're going to be looking at some tips for alcohol inks and planning card layouts. We're going to use Copic reinkers because that's what I have, and some Yupo paper. And I do it over the craft assistant. What's a craft assistant? It's that black magnetic shiny board there. It's really easy to clean up. Okay. So when I did this background, I knew I wanted to do an ocean background for some cards. So I planned my background around that. So usually I start with um, just putting on a lot of ink and a lot of blending solution so that it covers my surface of my paper. And then I take a straw and I blow it all over the place. And I put my paper at different angles so it just runs all over. So that's just a regular straw and you're blowing air through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I try and use colors that are close to each other on the color wheel because when you're doing it with this much alcohol or blending solution, they mix together a lot and then they actually mix nicely and, and form a nice color versus form, forming a muddy color. So sometimes I use the reinkers and not blending solution because blending solution moves so well on the Yupo paper that it just makes a big white spot and um, I'm looking for a more intense color on this background. And I blow really, really hard through the straw so that I don't leave the little thin streams of color and thick edges. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> Had <laughs> lots of practice doing that. And um, if I do get some thick edges and, and streams, I use um, more solution and, and try and just wash that out and, and it usually works pretty well. And so here you can see that I have a couple of areas that have large, smooth, fairly even color. And I'm just adding a bit more reinkers and blending and solution so I can get smaller areas or drops and have a few more areas that have lines or a bit of edge to just create some more interest in my background. Yeah, that was for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh, that, that was really pretty. Okay. Now All we're right. letting it dry. Yeah, we're letting it dry. Yay! So what's really <laughs> great about the... Uh, that's beautiful. Let's just keep going. Uh, what's great about the craft assistant is to clean it is you just use just regular rubbing alcohol. So the products we're using today are Essentials by Ellen Blockwords and Classic Block Alpha Dyes by Julie Ebersol. And... Our dyes are by Alexandra Renke, and that's the corals, two jellyfishes, seashells, dolphin, and the seahorse. That was a mouthful. Yes. So this is the card we'll start off making, and I'll just share a few tips that I use for planning a layout. No and... tips. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, we do want tips. Oh, we're going to have to skip a few now that you <laughs> talked. <laughs> but they can see what we're doing here anyways. What are we doing? We are um, Oh, that's the Teflon, Teflon bone full te Teflon. Okay, so the tips will be in the description below. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. It's my job. Yes, it is. So I guess the bottom line is I do make examples and I try and figure it out lots of times using scrap paper. And I am using kind of a theory here of a visual tr triangle. And the things that are making up my triangle are my sentiment, my jellyfish, and my coral. And so I'd kind of pre-planned it here before the video. And, but you can see when you move things around, you're just looking for that triangle of the, of the shapes. And then I was trying to figure out whether I was going to use a white jellyfish or a colored jellyfish. And I just... Again, it went better with that whole visual triangle thing to use the colored jellyfish, I the, figured. The coral looks good on the left. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. So then to line it all up, uh, we're going to use our, um, our craft mat here and our T ruler. So we just line up our letters like this, make sure they're all straight. And then we're going to slap that with some purple tape. That's, that's a craft mat. That is a craft mat, isn't it? That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's my old making memories one. Oh, there we go. 
Cool. So we use purple tape because purple tape is like post-it note. It's not. doesn't leave the, the sticky thing. So we ran that through the, our, uh, our die cutting machine and then that just popped out our letters. Hugs. Just like that. Here to come. So what are we doing? Okay. Yeah, there it is. Hugs. Ah. All right. The Nina Classic Crest Solar. You'll have to back up and pause. And then I'm actually just putting craft um, foam behind, and I'm cutting out the craft foam be behind the uh, sentiment. Okay. Where I'm going to put the alcohol ink background. And then by the magic of video, we're going to just assemble it, and here it comes. Nice. Wow. But guess what? What? I wasn't completely happy with it. You weren't? <laughs> no. It kind of wasn't quite lined up right. And it's... so I made this little template. And it's something I learned in photography called the rule of thirds. You end up putting um, two parallel lines horizontally and vertically. And where those four points meet, that's where you have points of interest. So that's where you kind of want to put focal points on your cards. And when you look at what my card is, I'm a little to the left and a little bit high. And that's why it's maybe not as eye-pleasing. And other eye-pleasing parts on the card are along those lines. So that was the card I had made. And this is the card we're going to just put together for the last part of the video. And this is the background that we made at the beginning of the video. So we're going to use just the last part of that background. Yeah, that uh, sea, underwater sea, that's, that's amazing. That looks incredible. So, we got our ATG gun. Put down some, is that craft foam? Yeah. Okay. So we're using all of the pieces uh, from that card. So these were just scraps, wasn't it? Well, I'd, I'd cut up a whole bunch of stuff and made a whole bunch of cards. So yeah, this was just some that I had. Okay, yeah. And so with this, we're using uh, Lawn Fawn Sparkle Pixie Dust Card I knew I could Cardstock. All right. And uh, so we're, we're going to glue that down. There it is. Lawn Fawn Sparkle Pixie. And so we're going to line those up. We use our, our third rules. We're going to use our Copic Sketch Markers, BG13 and BG05. And it's kind of hard to see, so we're going to color these in here. Uh, I'll, I, these are, these are definitely sparkly. Um, I definitely like it. And then we'll glue it together. Yep, use our T ruler, line it all up. And we're not just using tape, what are we using? What are we using? We're using glue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta glue that thing down. We don't like our, we don't like our hugs to pop off. So the one on the left, was uh, the, the, first, the first card we made and the one on the right, you just bump it up a little bit with the rule of thirds. So we hope today's video has inspired you to go and make your own sparkle card, to give that to someone, to add some sparkle to their day. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Click the bell to get notifications when we upload a new video. You can follow Betty on Instagram at Betty underscore J28. And you can find me on YouTube. My channel is DJs in the House. These links will be listed below along with more detailed tips and the products used to make these cards. Thanks for watching and have a great day.